Hey guys, Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com uh, Just after the July 4th weekend, uh, actually today is the 8th of July And uh, this is an I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com Productions along with Fred Mix Yachts And in fact, Fred Mix being uh, a friend and one of my working partners uh, Is actually selling his 1978 Morton and Hersloff 36 flybridge sedan and I gotta tell you this vessel is outstanding I'm excited uh, I feel privileged to even be able to shoot video on it uh, it is definitely a little bit older to my uh, expertise and wheelhouse I will have Fred trailing behind me in case I get hemmed up but basically the goal here is you guys have all of the information and all of the details of this vessel on the site um, you know what I want to do is just give for most of you out there interested in this vessel a walkthrough um, so you can you know versus just still pictures that sometime may be deceiving or uh, just not give you that feel that you're looking for but uh, so what I'm gonna do is kind of walk obviously I can't get up and down underneath the vessel as she's in the water um, you're all up to date as far as when you know paint was fresh and uh, vessel was actually just clean last week um, You know, but with my goal here is basically just to kind of give you that visual walkthrough of this is just a Beautiful flybridge sedan um, I've just always been impressed uh, and he has put so much love into it uh, That I just I can't even explain it um, So, you know, we're just gonna kind of just give you guys a visual walkthrough. I'm actually running a standard uh, format for those of you uh, that may have trouble on your computer's viewing and I have the GoPro on my head in an HD which gives it a little different look as well if you guys want to look at both videos um, to kind of give you uh, a different feel uh, the regular format tends to end up a little bit grainy because after I edit uh, you know the shakiness out it tends to uh, get a little grainy but anyway let me just get right to it uh, as we're moving forward on the vessel I just want you getting just trying to uh, I, I don't want to talk too much I just want to let you guys see visually um, just how beautiful it is you know and I was speaking to Fred and I said you know and I asked him um, you know what's the one thing on the vessel uh, that you haven't gotten to or uh, that you feel like um, is a negative because everybody sees the positive um, he feels like the teak is at about 80 percent um, it could use a little bit more work uh, you know a little a little bit more of a touch up here and there um, You know, but it, you know overall I think it looks great You know keeping the teak up on this type of vessel is uh, not an easy thing to do on a daily basis uh, But I'd have to say that um, I think he's done a wonderful job And I'm trying not to get him in the frame because he chooses not to and I'm trying to make sure you guys can see everything I'm trying to show window framing move in on the deck right now we got the gen set running um, I'll show you ours uh, although I did just take some fresh pictures of that up on the site just trying to give you guys that visual walkthrough if you're walking on the vessel and you're feeling like let's just pop up everything is just in just wonderful condition I know because ever since he's had the vessel he's always been <laughs> working on it and trying to keep everything as pretty as it is and I'm just gonna kind of just keep moving along here so you guys can see you guys that's actually hatch up with genset running let's kind of get up on there on the own end uh, it should be an AKW I think it's hailing uh, with about 500 something hours I'll verify that so you can see that running We're not going to be able to pop up the engine hatches, but I did take uh, a, a nice pictures, uh, beautiful condition. All services, I want to repeat, all services up to date. This vessel just went on a nice trip, came back, and everything has been updated. This vessel is turnkey ready. Bring your surveyor, bring your mechanic. Um, Reasonable offers, I know this is getting really tight, but I don't want to go in the drink. Reasonable offers will be considered. 
I think that the outriggers are new. We're, in fact, we're going to move our way up. Like I said, this vessel offered by Fred Mix Yachts of Hilton Head with an assist from Rob at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com. Just if you guys can just see the workmanship, I'm going to pop up to the fly bridge. Just kind of bear with me. You're walking up with me. Just, ah, oh, just beautiful. He just polishes and shines and stains and services. Um, just let's just kind of move up here. You guys can see your Raytheon ST60, your VHF up on the upper helm, control helm, your Lowrance HDS7. And just so you know, there's a, a I think it's an HDS, HDS10 down below. You can actually uh, rotate them if you want to bring uh, from the helm up to the upper helm, uh, you want to do that. Uh, you can interchange them. This is pretty cool. Uh, you got a window down. So in case you know you have two people aboard and you want to switch from upper helm to lower, uh, you can actually just tap on the window, give a thumbs up, call for a beer, cocktails, whatever you want to do. Just trying to give you guys a view. Let me just, so you guys can see the teak. Just beautiful. Yes, the beautiful vessel. All right, that covers that aspect. And now I'm going to move into some air conditioning. Already 90 degrees and humid. It's got to be 8.30 in the morning, South Carolina. Just trying to give you guys everything. I know this is going to be a long video, but for all of you traveling all over the United States, hopefully I'm giving you at least the view, and hopefully I'm getting everything in with the GoPro. I don't know how my angle is. And let's walk inside. Here we go. I'm gonna hesitate just for you guys to take in the view. As you see. How exciting is this? This is outstanding. In fact, we're just gonna move up to them. Yes, HDS 10, like I said, interchangeable. Uh, with the upper helm, in case you want to, you know, you're going to be riding up there. And there's our Simrad. Let me get the GoPro down. Auto helm, your VHF. 770 hours on the repowered. Remember, this has been repowered and refitted in 95. It's a 94 Cummings um, in there. All that information is up on the site. Just trying to give you guys so you can see everything that I see, and I'm gonna kind of move. Just caught Fred's Fred's legs in the in the uh, video, but we're gonna just kind of shoot up over here. Yes, 582 on the gen set and counting because we're running it. Actually, we're in right now. The Onan is quiet. Oh man, it's nice and cool in here, and I actually want to show you something pretty cool. I'm gonna move up over here. Actually, let me pan back. Didn't even know this was here, and this is super exciting. I like it. Maybe the little stuff makes me happy. And then this pit pops down. That's a nice little tuck away right there. And you can actually interchange cushions from one side to the other. All right, Captain Fred, let's tuck this back up. You guys can see the condition. Just trying to show you. We didn't take off the windows, coverings, because why? All right, and then we're just going to move forward, keep moving forward. As you guys can see. Now, key here is not only is the craftsmanship everything just in such nice shape well maintained polished stained cleaned what I want you to do is just take a look I mean even when you get into all your ceiling you take a look you guys can see just it's you're not dealing you, you can even see I don't see any leakage um, it's clean no mold 
just very well cared for into our head it's just kind of after we've left the salon outside the salon you come down here's the shower so basically your head is going to be set forward of the salon starboard side plenty of room and into your berth and you guys can see I mean she's just outstanding just beautiful you will not be disappointed um, there's just you know that really just isn't uh, that type of situation to where you're going to be getting into uh, this is definitely uh, all the work has been done for you you are turnkey ready she's clean she's neat all services up to date and what we're going to do here is to finish off uh, I'm going to have Captain Fred just crank up those engines. Oh, one thing I do want to show you, uh, when I, I told you I had spoke to Fred, uh, a couple things that annoyed him. Uh, you guys can see just on this one little piece of carpet, you got a little bit of tattering on the edge there. That's it. So, teak 80%, a couple tattered carpet, and then you're good. Paul? Well, yes, sir. I want to point out, this. Um, these are air hatches built into the boat on the inside and it's got air boxes going through the uh, fly bridge uh, so you can get forced air through the boat uh, passing through these in bad weather rain or whatever uh, they're actually outboard of this uh, 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 brow up here on the fly bridge uh, nice big center ventilation window um, might want to point out this old-fashioned view box from upstairs to downstairs, yes. honey. <laughs> that, honey, that can, we you, did, honey that, can you bring me a cold one? That we did point out. <laughs> Anything else of note other than visually, uh, I've basically just walked through and showed them just the outstanding quality. Aluminum window frames, you know, that's, I think that's pretty special in an older boat. Uh, no leaks, doesn't leak, boat doesn't leak, nice and dry. Um, two air conditioners. Um, oh, this is kind of cool. Air comes in, this panel comes out, air goes out. Nice. Nice. Screen door. <laughs> Screen door. Just like being in the backyard, but on the water. Yeah. You know, and then this comes up. I just keep this on here to keep the sun out of the boat. And actually, all the covers, uh, canvas, uh, uh, bimini, everything is in great shape. Uh, in fact, on the helm up there, he actually has covers upon covers upon covers to keep everything protected. Um, anything else of note that um, you feel like should be identified? Um, I mean, if you really want to get... Well, this one isn't too bad. Some of the curtains need to, to be, you know, I mean, that's... Minor details. Yeah, minor details. A couple little cosmetic on, the, on some of the curtains. And you're gonna have a few things on the vessel. I mean, she's a 1978, um, but uh, I think you are, uh, I would call this if uh, 95 to 98% good across the board, um, you know, with obviously how you would wanna make it your own. Uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna crank the engine up real quick. Even though we don't have the hatches pulled up, we'd be another five minutes of video and nobody wants that. I took uh, some good pictures. She's beautiful. She's clean. She's serviced. And here we go. Yes, sir. Just as easy as that. Obviously, under contract, sea trial, survey, however you guys want to do it. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to walk out. So basically, I hope this, um, you know, helps helps you guys out, helps Fred out uh, to give you guys that walkthrough. I mean, you know, sometimes you could be states and states over and you want to see a vessel like this. Hopefully that walkthrough gives you what you need. Um, she is definitely a special special vessel, uh, well, well cared for, well loved. Uh, 
um, just went on a real nice trip and um, as you can see here that uh, Captain Fred is definitely uh, taking care of it the best he can has spared no expense so Rob out here at I'm always in hotwater.com along with Fred Mix Yachts wishing you guys a great and safe boating day.